news cool. So he's about to drop the news out to the straw hat. Oh, because he steered them away from uh, Hakume? Yeah, that was pretty reckless. He was the only one willing to risk it. Ow. <laughs> okay. Color of the Supreme. I hope that's just a joke. Zoro was asleep this whole time. That's a lit. Where's Sanji? All right. Give him a break, man. I'm assuming news about Sabo. There he is. It's gonna be in the newspaper. There he is. Oh, Sanji's and Zoro's bounty. Everyone's bounty besides Luffy. I feel like Zoro's is gonna be higher than Sanji's now. And I also think they're gonna be in the billions because they defeated King and Queen. Nine senior officers. How did their bounty rank turn out? Chopper goes from 100 to 200. <laughs> A thousand? Bro, his grown the most from a hundred to a thousand. Pet in brackets. Up by 900 berries. Yeah, that's crazy. His basically went up by 10 times. 366 million. If only she could turn herself in and get that money. <laughs> yeah, she was 36 million last time, right? I think. What's Brooke? 500 million. 500 million? Is that? 383 million. Okay, yeah, 500 million is a lot. Just a little bit more than Nami. He'll be at 250. 394. Ha! <laughs> that reminds me of the live action. He interacted with the poster. 500 million. He's got, he's God Usopp. Woo oh my gosh. Brave Warrior of the Sea. Go do something. Damn. <laughs> 900. I was gonna say like seven because she's the demon child. 930 million people. They are the real deal. So Zoro is like 1.1 billion. 1 billion 32 million. Not much higher than Robin's. It's in the billions though. That's high as shit. 700, 800 million? Are they gonna put Jinbei in the billions? He was a warlord. I'm just saying he don't be doing no crazy- Oh, he's higher. He's higher than Sanji. Okay. Or is that Zoro that's higher? 1.1 billion. <laughs> 1 billion 111 million. Four straw hats in the billions and one closer than they are further, which is Robin. That's crazy. Oh, Sanji's poster, by the way. <laughs> Three billion. That's an expensive ass crew to take down. <laughs> what are their values gonna be when it's all said and done? Is Zoro gonna touch 3 billion at the end of the show? That's very likely. If they're the crew that's gonna- Oh, Crocodile. Oh, the Cross Guild. Gold. I gotta get used to it. That's just- that. that's new. <laughs> this makes more sense. Buggy? Oh, Jinbei. Back to the old cards now. Eye catchers. Law. Yeah, this is the buggy I know. So how did they do this? Just because they're all warlords, they just formed a group? Why are you the boss? So did they go on a voting? And I'm assuming everyone else said, oh yeah, we need buggy to be the boss? Because why is he asking that question? <laughs> yeah, they're not emperors. Buggy is. Buggy's at the center of it. That is hilarious. So how did this happen? Mr. Three! I mean, he was under Baroque works in the beginning. 
The guy that Zoro cut. Alvita? Damn. The old crew. What are they talking about? They can always keep bringing that up. But I have to relocate myself. I feel like Mihawk's smart enough to use Buggy's influence, but he's also prideful because swords and stuff. It's all a cross guild versus the Navy, huh? I also do like what they have going on. <laughs> This is when Crocodile and Mihawk show up. Oh, they already did. <laughs> and this is what made the Navy think Buggy has Crocodile and Mihawk under him. How much stronger has he gotten? He's crying on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> The giants. <laughs> Crocodile. His new company idea was cross -gill. <laughs> You're standing out, President. Honestly, he could make the case that it takes the attention off of them. Not too crazy. But I know, yeah, Crocodile and Mihawk don't like the idea of being under Buggy. He edited to that? That's hard. I'm not gonna lie, he did his thing. <laughs> and now he's a Yonko. <laughs> the mastermind of the impel down. Oh, they put that on him. Of the King of the Pirates. He was once equal footing with the Emperor of the Sea, red haired. Yeah, for all they know, this is the truth. This is how it looks to them. One billion nine hundred. Damn, what was his at first? 2.4 Are they gonna give him 3 billion? 3.5 God damn Oh my god That's accurate though You made quite a name for yourself <laughs> Exactly. The Emperor of the Sea automatically has a target on their head. Mihawk has his own endeavors, so they agree to this. And we can get rid of him whenever we want. Pretty much. <laughs> Crocodile at 1.9 billion. For some reason, that feels fitting. 
even though relative to his arc, he's not as strong as everyone else. Maybe he is two years later. We don't really know exactly what happened to him, but he just has that aura. Look at him introducing him the way he is, man. I wonder if they'll ever get into a fight where the opposite end, who knows the truth about Buggy, converses with him about that. Like, what if Garp fights Mihawk for whatever reason? And he's asking him, why are you under Buggy? Or maybe he sees through the bullshit. Let's do it in a flashy way. <laughs> he's no longer in control of his own life. Damn. <laughs> 3.1 billion berries. Mihawk is accurately 3.5 and Crocodile is 1.9. Now, obviously bounties are more on influence and threat than just pure strength. Same with the Yonko status as a whole, but it's still interesting to me that Buggy has made it this far. And so that is how Cross Guild came to be. Originally, it was gonna be founded by Mihawk and Crocodile. And if you ask me, just those two alone are enough to bring in other powerful alliances. They aren't the only ones that wanna go against the world government. I think there's many ways this can be handled and it's very interesting. Again, I really like the idea of Cross Guild and Buggy as the figurehead does help because it takes the heat off of Mihawk and Crocodile. I'm so glad Mihawk came to that conclusion, by the way. I feel like he already thought of that, but part of me was like, does he care? And yes, he does, because he wants to live a peaceful life. Meanwhile, Buggy is pretty much no longer in control of his life. Or was he ever really? He's just always in situations where his notoriety just skyrockets. I could see him being the king of the pirates. Like what are the chances Luffy finds Laugh Tail and sees everything and then Buggy's right there with him and somebody sees Buggy with him and says, oh, Buggy found it first or something like that. I'm sure the truth would get out inevitably afterwards, but to me, it's not unlikely that Buggy being the king of the pirates for like an episode or four is a possibility. So yeah, this episode also really, for the most part, just showed off bounties. I mean, the cross guild is really expensive just with those three and the straw hats. From Robin all the way to Luffy is like 7 billion with just those five, Robin, Sanji, Jinbei, Zoro, Luffy. That is one expensive crew, not to mention Chopper. I mean, good God, his bounty grew the most. It's kind of insane. And back to the cross guilds, they did confirm that that system was put together directly after the warlord system got abolished. When Mihawk was going to leave, Crocodile hit him up immediately. And again, I can see them really growing, becoming something more than what they are now. I feel like they'll be a big part in the final battle of the series, but we shall have to see. On to the next arc. Or maybe we start with Kid or Law. Honestly, I am curious on where they're going. Mainly Kid, that's one of my favorite characters, but I feel like Luffy, Kid, Law, the destination of those next three is gonna be very important for the future of One Piece. But ultimately, we shall see.